Let the cat fight those monsters. Well. I'm getting out of here. The island sprung a leak. Run. Yeah, the island sprung a leak. <laughs> that's funny. Oh my god, that's so hilarious. Okay. So, let me go ahead and get the fuck out of here. Uh, these are some of the things I learned. The currency in that Cyrodiil thing. Could fight as much as the next guy. But these are horrible creatures. Five Claw, good to see you. Raz Ew. has a proposal if you have the time. Oh, Jesus. Fucking Raz. Suck it, Raz. Anyway. I don't have the time. Remember I told you guys in the last episode, you have to go to one place to get it. Well, like it says here, Alinor Crest Townhouse. Talk to Battlemaster Kryn. Okay, so it's over here. This is where that... Uh, Alinor is a city in Somerset. And that's the only place you can go to get your training. So I'm not going to let myself get distracted. But anyway, when it comes to the Cyrodiil thing, it turns out it's a player versus player thing. Every time somebody ganks you, they walk up and they just gank the shit out of you. They take half of your Telvar stones. When I started out, I had 4,000 Telvar stones. And I had got some. I had managed to acquire some through missions. But you know what? You know what happened? I died so many times, I'm down to 451 Telvar stones. So I went ahead and I put that... Ooh, I like the structure here. I put it in a uh, in the bank vault, and I got out of all those oh, missions cool. in Cyrodiil. And I'm just gonna have to accept the fact that I'll be limited to very the three basic boosts on jewelry: stamina, health, and the other one. I mean, those guys they come up and they'd one shot me right in the middle of fighting something else. They'd wait. Till I was weak and then gank me and some of them they didn't need to wait they just ganked me like that so it's basically player versus player it's not oh let's go do this mission yeah there's missions out there you could do in the battlefield but they're everybody it's a free-for-all out there so I lost pretty much all those 4,000 I gained from um, you know the weekly freebies yeah so I, I I, let's just say I'm very discouraged to bother trying. And I put all those 451 Telvar stones in the bank. So if I do wind up dying, I don't wind up dying so easily. Oh. Tired of you. Let's get this straight. I think I'm on the right track. Off we go. No, I'm not. Okay. Okay, let's go back this way. I guess I went the wrong way. You know, the land is what controls you here. It's always the land. It's never anything else. Oh. Let's just get the sky shard. Might as well. There we go. Anyway, I was going through Cyrodiil trying to get sky shards and do little missions and stuff to get Telvar stones. And every time one of those motherfuckers would kill me, which would not take long, even if I blocked the shit out of it, uh, I lose half of the Telvar stones. So the first time they killed me, I lost 2,000. Second time, 1,000. Third time, 500. Yeah, and so on, till I had nothing. And I kept losing, because I kept dying. Jesus, why would I bother? You know, but anyway, I'm going to go see if I can get this jewelry thing. 
from this guy. I think I'm on the right track. Let's see. I'm kind of on the right track. I'm going to have to stay on the road a bit. It's a interesting houses. Yeah, because this... The jewelry was added onto the game much later. Which one could he possibly be? So what I think I'll do is I'll keep trying to increase my jewelry potential. Oh, look at that. I guess this is supposed to be like a theater. Stand right here. Yeah. It's really nice architecture. Being out here in the sunlight like that ain't going to be that great. I'm curious as to who these people are. Hello. Greetings. Elves. Okay, so that is not what I need. I need to go north and then to the left. So I need to get out of here. I don't know why that happened. Okay. Damn, there's so much shit around here. Okay, so this is much farther than I thought. What's this? Wow. Carl crap. It was this is a fight now. Well, it doesn't have anything special, but it's funny, it looks mutated. It shouldn't be that bad. Wow, look at that. Huh. Yeah, those things look mutated as fuck. Anyway, let's uh, get back on the road here. This is just a small coastal town. I'm trying to get to the big town. Probably going to be further this way. Oh, way shrine coming up. That's good. Interesting environment. So, I would never have thought that there would, this would be the place where I'd have to find the only jeweler in creation. You know? Which sucks. Because, like I said, I would have had it up to 50 by now or something. I'm sure Enough, of it. Enough, Silary. These mysterious deaths are our business to solve, not yours. Okay, let's see. Where am I now? Okay, so I should be... I'm looking for Albion. This must be the front road. This is where the elves are. That's a winery. Oh, that's probably... Oh, that's fucking annoying. Come on, let me jump. There we go. I like that. Let's go. What there it is. Some of the local fair. I'm There's fucking Eleanor. Now I need to find a jeweler. Here ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new card game. Tales of Tribute.
Okay, so I'm going to go further in as quickly as I can. Don't merely be a visitor to Somerset. Help uphold fucking its justice. Justicar. You know how many Justicars I had to fucking kill in Skyrim? I had to kill them like they were weeds. Those fuckers. Okay, I'm supposed to go here. So I'm in the wrong place. This is taking longer than I thought. This one thinks you're in the market for leather. No, I'm not in the market for leather. Tell me, Trap. Where these assholes put this guy? Griffin feathers of all things. Fucking just a car. This one thanks Joan and Jode for bringing me to this land of sparkle syrup and honey pudding. Well, the food and drink is different, but the sentiment is the same. Good. Right. In the market for some new. No. Where's the armor? I mean, where's the uh, jeweler? I guarantee you. No. Okay, I'm in the wrong place. I think this is it. Where are you? My family has actually And uh, my family has elven ties. Let's see what this fucker's doing. Alchemy. This is so whatever. Everybody's got a fucking opinion. Alchemy. Where is that snoot fucking? So it's gonna be some snoot. <sighs> That's not it. That's right. Grocer. If you're trying to impress the high. I won't be doing it there. This is that snooty son of a bitch. No. This is him. My countrymen believe the newcomers. Oh, that's an enchanter. Where is this snooty son of a bitch? I know he's around here somewhere. I can smell him in the area. I smell him. Hail. Well, this is the jewelry area. So much consternation over the Queen's death. Fucking asshole. Yeah. I could have gotten the Ritz a long time ago. So. Alright, so. 
Shit. Let me get the way shrine. There's got to be a way shrine here somewhere. Because I'm not seeing anything. Yeah, if I try to get out of this, the recording won't... Uh... Shit. I see something within Yes! Listening jewel. You fucker! Polished. A passion. I got lucky. With brilliance, though not yet realized. Tell me, do you wish to be certified in jewelry crafting? Yeah, you snoot. A certification will allow you to fulfill jewelry crafting writs. But first, you must demonstrate an understanding of the fundamentals. Create for me a simple ring. Yes, that task will be suitable to... Let's get started, shall we? After all, a good pot. Oh? Yes, how didn't I sense it before? A true crafts... Yes, given your experience with the craft, that seems to be in order. I am pleased to officially certify you in the art of jewelry crafting. You are free to fulfill any writs you may find at your leisure. You are now free to accept jewelry crafting writs. You can research any trait that a piece of jewelry already possesses. I have heard of many special jewelry stations located within certain parts of Tamriel. Jewelry pieces created at such stations will provide advantages when used in conjunction with specific armor and weapons. You can learn traits which help with your health. I bet you there's a crafting writ here on the board. That's one thing. I never saw any jewelry crafting writs. Okay. That's alchemy. Two silver necklaces. Oh, that's an outfit station. I think this is it, right? Silver necklace. I got copper and I got silver. Deliver the goods to the nearest quartermaster. Yeah, this is what I did for weeks to get my other ones up. My other jewelry crafting. Still don't know. Place the goods. There. Jewelry crafter's coffer. Use it. Look at that. Shipment of ounces. Use. Look at that. I could have had those resources by now. God damn. They put that snooty fucker in one place. And I didn't learn till I was already fucking... Ay, ay, ay. Let's see. I'm at 29. Next rank is 40, so that's going to be a long time from now. I'm not going to bother putting anything else into that. Simply because, like this one, yes. But, then this one. But not this one, simply because I have to, when it comes to those things, like I said in the prior video, you have to get them a certain way. And that's it. So... Uh, the orc is easily impressed. The entertainment provided by outsiders must be placed under strict scrutiny. Yeah, whatever, scumbag. Fucking, they're worse than the Nazis, man. I swear to God. They're worse than the goddamn Nazis. Now, my question is, where the hell... Okay, here's... No, that's a temple... Oh, there's a sky shard there. I didn't know there was a sky shard there. Let's go get that son of a bitch. The only reason I go back to uh, Cyrodiil and do those missions is to go ahead. Here we go. 
is to get the rest of the sky shards. But you can't really do that when they're ganking you every five minutes. They're just ganking the shit out of you. So I'm just not going to waste my time. And as to the, um, the guild, there's a guild bank. You can deposit into the guild bank, but you can't withdraw. And there's like crafting motifs and a bunch of other shit that's in there. Let's see, where is it? I can't wait to take a load off at the inn. That woman always complains about nothing, I swear. Gain the skill point now. Yeah. Save that for later. Yeah. Hmm. I always Nothing wonder why I never get a jewelry. I never get a jewelry writ, even though it's a jewelry skill. See, I understand that I never got trained in the consumables because I didn't want formal training. I just wanted to have a level 50 and not really produce anything. You know, but, you know, later on, maybe, you know, far from now, far from, far time from now. Oh, Jesus, I'm so fucking, uh. Let's just go back home. Just disappointed. Anyway, the only way it would work is if what I would have to do is find PvP builds and get into that PvP equipment. Ah. Let me go ahead and check out my armor and do that. I mean, I could start another character and have that character be the most cheesy motherfucker in the planet. But I bet they're going to cry about it, these fuckers. Uh, Arconian lamppost. I don't think I have that one. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna, I stopped wearing the tabard for the guild something. because... There's no reason to be in a guild if you can't buy and sell, if you can't trade. I, I just don't see the point in any of it. And yeah, this thing, I don't even know what the point is there. Um,
I thought I had a point. Yeah, all my perks and everything didn't mean shit. There's something about how these people are doing it that makes a power player. When it takes forever for you to kill something with a two-handed sword that's on fire. And basically you have to do the same number of swings to any creature like a mud crab. It'll take me four or five swings to kill a mud crab and I'm level 50. 233 and I have like some of the ba most badass shit ever you see what I'm saying there's something wrong about that where it's not relative or it's overly relative maybe something like that it's just weird man it's fucking weird anyway uh, let's get rid of those I bought some more bank space but I'll probably wind up just crunching this shit out. How can I help you? Oh, wait a minute. Let's go. Let's do this. Welcome to the I didn't try the guild store. Oh, yeah, that's right. The only thing in the guild store you could buy is a tabard. You see what I'm saying? That's it. I wondered where I got the tabard from, and it's in the guild store. This is the guild store for Gaming Console 3. All items, just the tabard. I don't know why they even want to have you a... care to make a deposit? Guild Bank. Can I withdraw? No, you don't have permission to withdraw. So if there's something in here I wanted. I don't know about those. So essentially the people in charge are hoarding these resources and they're not being released. So why am I even in the, why am I in this guild? So anyway, let me um, Welcome to the club. loosen my inventory up a bit. Let's see, key fragments. I think the key fragments are in there, right? See, I got all this research I'm trying to do. All these surveys and shit I have not done yet. Chromimic stone, I'm not too sure about it. Trying to hang on to some of those. Key fragments do store in there, so that's good. All right. I think I'll focus on trying to get my hands on a set of armor. And I think I'll focus on the most offensive, murderous shit I can do. I may have to go and find a better build. But this is not a PvP build. This is designed to solo a dungeon, do crafting. And that's why I got a healing companion, because I was still getting my ass kicked. And that's it. It's not designed for PvP. It looks like it is, but it's not. PvP, I mean, when you do the research, you have to analyze it and figure out, okay, how am I going to approach killing another player? Well, first thing on the list is get the best power character you can find. And this tank is not a power character. It's not a damage dealer. This tank is designed to take damage. And then I still died. I still died, even with all my perks and bonuses. So that's why I'm like, well, there's something weird about this game where it, 
it feels as though it's high level. It doesn't matter what level I am in the game. I still take three or four hits to kill a mud crab. You know, like if I went down here right now. Let's say I go down here and I go. Ooh, not over there, but let's say I go down here and try to find a mud crab somewhere. I'm sure there's one somewhere. Hold on. Here, there's got to be a mud crab here. Or some shit. Got to be a mud crab or some little fucker over here. Oh, that's a big crab. That's not the one I was looking for. Let me shut this nerd root up. Can never have enough of that. See, see, this is a big crab. Still takes me hits to, to kill the thing. Way too many hits. But even if I got a little mud crab, I don't, I'm not seeing one here. I could probably get to one over there on the other side. You see, it's just, if you get more powerful, if you get bigger as a character, you get higher in level, get better armor, get better everything, your, your numbers go up. But the bad guys are always relative to you. There's two types of bad guys. Bad guys that are relative to you that you can kill, and bad guys that are relative to four people that you can't kill by yourself. Those are the two types of bad guys there are. Fine. Uh, can you break? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, it looks like I'm just going to be doing dolmens and random dungeons and shit. Here no reason to bother with anything else. For now. Your wits and courage in a but brand new card game. Next time Build I do an equip equipment rip, rift, writ, I should be able to take care of it. Let me repair my shit at least. You need something? Uh, sell. Siege. Yeah. Uh, I'm not even interested in that shit anymore. Yeah, and PvP. If I wanted fucking PvP, I'd go back into Star Wars. I already have a level 50 character over there. And I'd reconfigure that character and have him go PvP with somebody. Because he's a damage dealer. You know, he's a two, uh, he's a, a double lightsaber yielder, Sith. It's not a, nothing but damage. Everything is is fucking damage. Yeah, 50% of your Telvar stones go to the enemy. And I'm like, I had 4,000 and I went down to 451. And I didn't know what was going on. That sucks so bad. I to repair my shit. <sighs> so, what I need to do is figure out how to create. Let's go over here for a second. Now I'll get jewelry writ, so eventually my jewelry will go up faster and I'll get, you know, better stuff. That's no problem. But, um... See, now that I do one uh, level 50 
160, I can produce, let's say I want to produce a great sword. I want it to be the highest possible. I can just select the material, which is, this is the highest level material, and boot it up one level, and it's a 160. And I can use any style I, I have available here. What style is this? Dwemer frame. Oh, ooh. I didn't know I had a Dwemer frame. Mm. So anyway, I can produce it. That's unique. I'm going to produce it. <laughs> I didn't know I had a Dwemer. I didn't know I had a Dwemer style. But if you're going to put it on there, you might as well put a trait. Now, these traits, they're, they they add different things. Like this will increase the chance to apply status effects by 285%. Right? This one is increases weapon and spell critical. Increases weapon enchantment effect by 10% and reduces enchantment cooldown by 50%. Weapon enchantment effect. So it depends on what enchantment I put on there. Increases experience gains when killed by 5%. So if I really want to level up, I can make an entire set of training armor. Any piece of armor that has training, it won't have any special bonuses, but I can gain 5%, right? This is the one I like. Increases physical and spell penetration by that, which is good from, from my standards. And this one, you get another ultimate. Now, the ultimates are okay, but they are few and far between. Yeah. So what I usually do when I'm going to do a, 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 a damage-dealing sword is this. That's what I do. So I have maximum material, right, which I have plenty of. A Dwemer frame. I don't even know how I got that. I, I must have been in a dungeon somewhere. And I sharpened with so increased physical and spell penetration. And I'm just going to do one. Boom. Okay. So now... I try to do improvement because enchanting you can you can enchant at any time. Here's the sharpened greatsword. Let's say I want to improve it because I have all this stuff. Okay, so 100% chance of improving. So I improved that Rubenite greatsword. So now it's a level 50 uh, champion point 160, which is the highest. Thing you can build it's got the physical and spell penetration almost 3,000 right now I'm gonna improve it and I have all these honing stones thanks to the crafting bag I've actually got all those stones 165 of them so I just need two to have a 100% chance of improving it so I'm gonna improve it there, I improved it. Okay. So now I'm going to look at the Rubenite sword, and now it's at that level. See? So now it's improved to the blue level. Right? See how mine are already at that blue level? So I just brought this up to my minimum standard, which is the blue level. Damage is 1304, right? So I'm going to take that, and because I have 78 of these Dwarven Oils, and I only need three to improve my, my thing, I'm going to improve it again right now. Boom. I improved it. See? Here it is. Now it's purple. Now compare this to this. You see? I got a little bit more damage on it. Just a little bit more. So now I want to improve it again. Let's say I want to improve it again. All right? I have 25 of these. I'm going to change it from this level to from from this one to the next level, which I think is going to be blue or something. I don't know. 
I'm going to improve it. I have a 100% chance of improving it. Boom. Okay. Now I have a gold, a gold level greatsword. If you compare this damage to the original damage of one of these, you see how much more it's improved? Now I'm really starting to kick some ass with this, right? Look at that. So what do I need to increase the chances again? This tempering alloy, which I probably got some of these things by decomposing high level uh, pieces of weapons and armor that I didn't need. So I had this. Now I have to use eight to increase my chances, right? Right there. Here we go. Boom. Legendary blacksmith. Just by doing one piece. Where's my blade? That's not it. What happened to it? I lost track of it. No, that's different. God damn it. What happened? To oh, here it is. Rubenite Greatsword. Now compare this greatsword that also has a sharpened trait of physical and spell penetration. Now it's at 3,276. So the trait also went up with it. Okay. Now I'm going to enchant it. Uh, I have to go get my enchantments. But I'll be able to do more damage with it. And this is what you're supposed to be able to do. And when I go out and I kill something, it shouldn't take, like a mud crap, shouldn't take more than three hits. Okay. So the question is, can I improve that? And the answer is, once it hits gold, I don't think you can improve it. As you can see, it doesn't come out on the list. That's why it disappeared. Because it does not come out on the list. I'll get rid of this ashen blade in a second. For now, let me put it here. And I'll get this one, put it here. And now that it's there, I'm going to enchant it. Well, when I go get my enchantment, let me go to the bank. I put all my enchantments in the bank. So I have to select an enchantment that I'd like. I'll probably do shock. Shock is one that I enjoy. Okay. I was surprised I had a Dwemer one. So the, the Dwemer, that little piece that you used to make the weapon, that was a that single Dwemer piece that I had that I got somewhere, that is what the motif is. It'll look like a Dwemer sword. That's the basis of it. And I'm going to withdraw. I just need a good... Um, enchantment. I have plenty in here. So I have all these glyphs of shock that I've been saving. I can do frost. Well, there's, these are magicka. There's a flame. They also do 1948. I could do fire or I can do shock. But I decided to do shock with this one. Let's do shock. Here it, uh, here it is. So I'll take that out. And theoretically, I should be able to right click, enchant, Glyph of Shock should add 1948 Enchant. And now I have a Dwemer Greatsword. Is that the right one? That one is. This is the Dwemer Greatsword. There we go. So there is the Dwemer Greatsword. If I can. There you go. You see? 
there it is. That is, I had that one little piece of material to make it out of. I improved it to its maximum, so it's a gold item now. I put shock on top of that, and now let's look at the stats. Look at that. Base is 1571. Extra shock damage and extra increases physical and spell penetration by 3000. Now, let's get this. That will not bother with anything else. My inventory is at 19 out of 100, so we'll just go. And let's go kill something. Let's ride. Okay. Yeah. Let's just go kick some ass. Take our fancy Dwemer looking sword. <laughs> And go out there and kick some ass. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. I think I went the wrong way, but that's fine. Uh, yeah. it's supposed to be mud crap. Let's kill this guy. There you go. I think I'm getting good at this. Yeah, I, I you should be. I'm killing easier that. now. Let's do that. Oh, can't pass on that. <laughs> Look at that. See? One, two, three, four. He's dead. See? If this was not relative, it would be more like. there see so you want to get to a point now this is a generic sword this sword is a generic sword that I just made this is not a sword that's part of a set if you look at the swords and the other materials that are part of sets then they get additional bonuses depending on what you get so for example let's say I Oh, these guys are, they're having a little powwow. I get out of there. Uh, let's see. Uh, collections. Let's see. Outfit style, no. Set items, right? Old Mary Dominion, Alba Tor. You see, these are the spinner's garments. See, I got rings, and that's all I got. Here, I got a ring and this. That's only two pieces. Grat wood. I got a couple of pieces. So what I would do is I would do a search for heavy armor and two-handed okay two-handed two apparel types heavy armor there we go so I want heavy armor and I want a two-handed weapon. See, I don't really have enough to do anything to make anything too custom. I mean, eventually I'll make something, but... See, I'm looking... There was an armor set, Shock Exoskeleton. Now, this is an example of something I could actually do. The only difference is I don't have Shock's pauldrons. Okay. Let's see. There it is. So, if you look closely, look at the helmet. It has your armor and everything. It's maximized for 50 and then 160. 
So if you have two items, it adds... It's part of the exoskeleton set. I can build, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I can build six items and just get a different set of pauldrons because it, the chances of me getting shocks, pauldrons, and a drop are really small. I'm surprised I got all of these. For some reason, they must be more common. But if you have two items, it adds an extra thousand maximum health. Three, you add 117 weapon and spell damage. And then four, it adds 595 critical chance. And then it adds five items, it adds 155 weapon and spell damage. And then you gain minor hero heroism at all times while you're in combat, generating an ultimate every 1.5 seconds. So heroism and every, you know, that just increases the count for your ultimate. So once you get your ultimate at max power, you can unleash it and do damage. So this is an example of what you want to collect. And the guys that I'm fighting, they have guilds and they have professional armorers that are more advanced than I am that can produce these weapon sets and give them this armor. And they're better weapon sets than the shock. Shock is... It's, it's really very weak. It's not focused very well. It kind of it's like a general fighter kind of thing. It's nothing fantastic. It's just one thing I could do is get five of these pieces. I get five of these pieces, and then maybe two. Uh, I can get maybe different um, different. Uh, maybe get pauldrons and something from somewhere else and get a, a bonus of a different armor set. So I would have to find an armor set that has pauldrons that I can use and maybe some other one of these other pieces. And that way I'll have five to gain all the bonuses of this set and then another two to get the bonus, the two item bonus from the other set. And that would all add up. And that would give me a better armor set than what I'm wearing. I'm wearing very generic stuff that I just threw together. And none of, most of this has not been improved or anything. Can you imagine if you had this and then it was improved? It'd be amazing, right? But anyway, there we go. The Rift, Blackwood, Galen. You see, that shocks armor is the only armor set I really have. You see? Dungeons. Well, here's one. Here's one that has two. So if I had the pauldrons of Medusa, if I had these, if I had the, the pauldrons of Medusa, I could take the pauldrons of Medusa and one of these two and leave the leave this one out on the other set and just take five from the other pieces and two from this one and this would add 618 critical chance you see what I'm saying you could get them so that they work together you can also consider these things as sets you can get something that has a bunch of rings that you could make not that I am in a position to make any rings but I mean, not good ones anyway, not yet. So here, dark side caves, I got one. Grease of truth. I mean, really. Here's, here's two of them. Ice furnace. If you have two of these, you get extra magicka. But of course, this is, uh, this is heavy red guard. Yeah, you see, they got so many armor sets. I thought I was gonna, supposed to have more than this. I was so sure that a lot more than this was added, but DLC dungeons, Balsamnar, Black Reach. Okay, so now it's gonna show me the ones that are unlocked. See, that's a lot better. It had, it's, I had to click show long. 
let's go to here. Yeah. Are going in. It's a critical chance. Here. Elden Hollow. We got three. So I would find a set. Either find the shocks set or uh, just get five and then two from something else. Greaves of the Undaunted, Heavy, Mercenary. There it is. Look. You have two of these. It adds 1,136 maximum health. Three, you get an extra 1,401 armor. Four, you get an extra 1,401 armor. Five, when you use a taunt ability where you're under 75% health, gain a damage shield that absorbs 13,000 damage for six seconds. This effect can occur once every 10 seconds. You see? Now that... Now that is worth it right there. That's a good thing for a tank. It's heavy duty or heavy armor for a tank. And I bet you get this from the Undaunted Enclave. There's an Undaunted thing where they have missions that are repeatable every day. A new mission and your rewards, you get keys, you get pieces of equipment like this. And so the Undaunted would probably be a better thing for this character to go through. Uh, Cause look at that, that's so good. Uh, let's see. Here, Helm of Tormentor, maximum health, adds four percent healing taken. So th this is good. F this will help you heal. When they heal you, get an extra eight percent if you get four items. But you got to go get them in the drops. Yeah. You gain physical and spell resistance and to taunt the enemy attack for 15 seconds. See, this is also, this is designed for a tank. Yeah, that's nice, right? Once you actually get in there. Maximum stamina, health, maximum stamina, health. I wouldn't mind getting this for uh, going in there. This would be good for the Frozen Watchers gauntlets. And not the, I mean the armor set. If you have three of them, it'll give you maximum stamina, maximum health, and maximum stamina. And then if you have five items, summons a blizzard around you while you're bracing, inflicted, inflicting uh, frost damage. Everyone's on that. Effect skills off your max health. Your blizzard has a 50% chance of inflicting chilled on enemies damaged. Yeah. So while you're bracing, when you're like in a defensive posture, you summon you you summon that frost damage around you. Frozen watchers gauntlets. Yeah. So here's this one. The root enclave. Jeffrey's will. This is because I did all that wood elf shit recently. And this is uh, probably a lot of other things. Anyway. Imperial City. Cold Harbor. Well, it looks like I have all of the ancient elf cold harbor armor. All of them. I have all of it. <laughs> I didn't know that. I know. I, I remember I went and I kicked everything's ass in cold harbor I could do by myself. That's what I did. And there was like two dungeons I couldn't do. And I wouldn't be surprised if there's some miscellaneous thing. Let's see. what What can this do? Part of the Meridia's Blessed Armor Set. Oh, yeah, that's why. Because I completed that entire quest line. And it says two items adds 1349 armor, three items adds 117 stamina recovery. That's good. Four items adds more armor. When you block, you gain Meridia's Blessed Armor for five seconds, causing you to dodge all incoming attacks. This effect can occur once every 25 seconds. 
wow, that's not bad. And that's not including the base stuff. Like, this adds health. Health. You know? Health. Health. All these are adding health. Health. And this is health recovery. So this is a health-based uh, heavy armor. That would be pretty nice. This would be an excellent tank armor. Holy shit, I might be able to pull that off. I got the whole set, I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's the whole set. But there's no choker. And there's no second ring, so I guess that's those things are up to me, but... Wow. Craghorn... Curse of the trainee. Holy shit, I didn't know. I, I have... The extra bonuses are up to five. So technically I can have one, two, three, four, five. Right? I can have one, two, three, four, five. And then have two pieces from another armor set. Since I have all of these, I can pick an armor set that has the jewelry and an armor set that has two of these pieces any two of those pieces that I want to do away with and try to get a bonus an additional bonus from a different armor set because I have all of this so I use this as a basis and then I just keep five pieces of armor get rid of everything else and substitute one two three four another five pieces from another set so I can keep five here to get the bonuses from this set, and I get five from the other one, you know. You know, like I can keep, uh, I can get rid of these three and substitute a ring, the choker, and these three pieces of another set, and I have five and five. So I'll have the bonuses of two sets instead of just the bonuses of one set. You see what I'm saying? So in reality, what you would want to do is start crafting these. You would want to start crafting those and have five pieces. But you have to watch out. It's, it's going to be hard to mix and match them, but it just depends. Let me see. Day after day. Hear ye, card sharps and collectors. Test your wits and courage in a brand new Let me check something game. out. Diagrams. Oh, that's furnishings. Okay. Buy crafting items. I don't know. So this is this is where our, my knowledge drops off, because I don't see an option in there that says to to create a particular set of the armor that you collected. So I need to figure out how to do that. But we'll do that next time. It's been an hour. Thanks for hanging in there. Uh, I'm gonna take a break. Bye bye.